In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, scan to email from your Lexmark device. So first of all, just like with the photocopy, you want to put your um, scan into there, make sure the guides are nice and tight. If not, you'll be scanning from the flatbed scanner itself. Um, select the email. Um, from here, what you want to do is actually select yourself in the address book. So you'll select the address book there, select who you're actually sending it to and then push add to add them into the scan and push uh, the send file there. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that you actually are in the address book. But th so um, with the Lexmark device, there's two ways to add yourself into the address book. One, you can add yourself in by clicking on the address book on the main page and uh, up the top corner here, do create contact. You want to add yourself in and just give yourself an email address. So I've just add, added myself uh, into this address book now. So it's very easy for me to either go into this address book and send myself an email straight away. It'll populate all my details and push send. Makes life very easy when oh, I need to have a piece of paper in there. Makes life very easy um, for, your, for your future when you're actually in the address book. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to type yourself in manually every time, which can become a bit of a pain. So if I click on the home button here, and go to email, uh, you can click this two button and you can actually type your address book in each and every time. But this will be quite painful if you're using the device quite regularly. So I'd advise that you add yourself into the address book. Uh, the other way to add into the address book is to go here, uh, add from address book, and then add yourself into the address book. So create contact, create that contact information again. Once you're in the address book, it's very easy to uh, scan an email to yourself. Uh, on top of that, you can actually select uh, individual options on the side here for your scan as well. So it's going to have the default options already selected there, which will be okay for most people. But if you did need to change these, let's say you needed to change the thing to two-sided. So you can say the original is um, one-sided, or you can say it's two-sided flipping on the long edge or the short edge. You can change the resolution if you're uh, scanning in a graphic or something other than a normal text and color document. You can go content here and change it to text, photo, graphics. This just increases or decreases the a the size of the file, but also the uh, how clear your file is. Um, so there's all these options down the left hand side that you can choose um, to customize your jobs if need be. But most of the time, you'll find that it'll just be a matter of putting your uh, email address in and actually pushing the send button because everything's set for you.